Wilson's disease, shown by the Wilson volleyball in this street scene, is characterized by marked accumulation of copper in tissues and organs. The excess copper accumulates in the liver and can cause cirrhosis, the C-shaped roses on the liver. It can also result in hepatocellular carcinoma, the gnome driving the car with the liver. Copper can also accumulate in the brain and can also result in basal ganglia degeneration, shown by the degenerating bass guitar. This can cause dementia, the old demented D-man, as well as movement disorders like dyskinesia, the disc kite. Physical exam findings depend on the stage of disease. Asterixis may be seen in advanced liver disease, which is a characteristic jerking tremor of the hand when the wrist is extended, shown by the asterisk symbol. Copper accumulation in the corneas can cause Kaiser Fleischer rings to develop, shown by the German Kaiser wearing a fish-shaped belt, which can be detected by slit lamp examination, illustrated by the lamp. Excess copper in the blood can also result in hemolytic anemia, represented by the anemone with exploding red blood cells. So in summary, Wilson's disease results from abnormal copper metabolism, leading to accumulation of copper in multiple organs. In the liver, it can result in cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. In the brain, basal ganglia degeneration can occur with dementia and dyskinesia. Physical exam may show asterixis or Kaiser Fleischer rings on slit lamp exam of the eyes. Labs may show hemolytic anemia. The traffic light was broken when someone stuck a Wilson volleyball into the yellow light. Good thing before any people got hurt, the Kaiser fisherman was able to come to the rescue by directing traffic with his asterisk hand and his shiny slit lamp. He firmly stops the Sea Rose liver car driven by a gnome with a liver in the passenger seat and a red blood cell anemone bursting in the back to allow the poor old D-man to cross the street. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our intestinal disorders pigmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from Crohn's disease assessment, Crohn's disease characteristics, Crohn's symptoms and associations, ulcerative colitis characteristics, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.